Let's label two angles and the side between them and see if we can make any other triangles with this angle, side, and angle. First, let's start with the labeled side of our triangle. Now there are two ways we can have an angle over here with the same measure as this orange angle in our original triangle. We can make the angle above the blue side, or we can make the angle below the blue side. So these two angles have the same measure as this angle over here. Similarly, there are two ways we can have an angle over here with the same measure as this purple angle in our original triangle, above and below. Now for the new triangle we're making over here, two of its corners, or vertices, are over here and over here. But where can its third vertex be so that our new triangle has matching angle side angle with our original triangle up here? There are two correct answers. Nicely done. So the triangle's third vertex could be up here, where these two lines intersect, or it could be down here, where these two lines intersect. So we created two new triangles with matching side angle side to our original triangle. But are these new triangles congruent to the original? Well, this top triangle is certainly congruent. And this bottom triangle is also congruent, which you can see by first flipping it and then moving it. So yes, if triangles have two matching angles and matching side lengths between the angles, then that's enough to guarantee that they're congruent. And this fact is known as the angle-side-angle postulate, or ASA.